this episode, learning to tie a tie with bad internet, John uses a computer, pizza, and wishing for snow. Because seriously, it's December when we have none of it. Where is it? All that and more coming up now with 4607. Set our deadlines like right away, like right, like to honestly, like a month ago, right at that leads meeting, and then I've basically been focusing on refining those, and then our executive summaries are our main focus right now. So as of right now, we're just we cracked down on those. Our first meeting was we assigned people to them, and then we decided really what we wanted them to be about, and then we had a just we had a meeting just yesterday and to check in on people, and so. After we did that, we checked in and we wrote a bunch of bullets. We had a bunch of bullet points down for each one. And um, yeah, so after we did that, we had a lot more content. Once we had, we had like a two hour, I think, writing session. And then next week on Thursday is going to be our little rough draft. So we're going to want to have like paragraphs done by then. And then as soon as we're done with that, during ki- or right after kickoff, um, we're going to spend the rest of that day refining those. And then those are going to be done. And then after that, then we can write, work on the rest of the stuff. I think it's going pretty good. We're we're making a lot of progress, and even though there are, there are we have we've had some communication issues and like some deadline issues, we're handling them pretty quickly. And we've we pretty much told everyone like what our standards are for impact member member members. Sorry, what our standards are for impact members, and what our expectations are and stuff like that. And I think people are starting to get it. But oh, uh, we have we do have a lot of new people this year. Like I'm the. I'm the only impact presenter carryover from last year. And then we have Sophia who mostly just did documentation. But we have a lot of new members and a lot of new writers especially. So it's it's been difficult to like communicate our expectations and stuff like that, but I think people are getting it slowly. We have we haven't done a lot of brainstorming, but I do have a list of things that people just brought up to me, like ideas for themes and ideas for presentations and stuff like that. But most of the stuff we're changing as of right now is the way we're going about our department processes. So the way we communicate and the way we set up meetings, the way we start and end meetings, stuff like that. We're just trying to make everything more efficient. We recently came up with a new schedule thing because communication, again, has been lacking in past years. So I've started sending out what our meetings are going to look like for the week so that people know when to come and they don't have to, you know, text me and message me like, I didn't know we had a meeting, stuff like that. I think it's exciting that we get to have a regional so close and it's exciting that it's a new regional and yeah I'm interested in like helping out with that and I'm super excited to see all the teams and not have to stay in a hotel for however long because that's kind of annoying but yeah I think it's gonna be fun and in fact it's gonna be stressful because that's our last regional but it's okay I believe in us hey hey what's the code today if they aren't with you in the storm, why take them to the final circle? Hey everybody, it's Cam here and I'm in our high school library here and I'm with our freshman team, 9536 Slobberbots. In this episode here, we're going to be going over their Viper Slide system here that they have, along with their Mackinac wheels and their very interesting um, manipulator. Yeah, so uh, check it out here on Above the Bumpers. Okay, so why don't you guys here kind of break down your Mechanum drivetrain and how you got a program set up and laid out. Um, our Mechanum drivetrain, it's really how a robot functions. It's attached, it's attached to a three, um, three bars on our main frame and one central one. Our program is not here, but it we found some code from another team and um, we borrowed it, and that's how we got it programmed. And it's really the main point of our robot. All right, and I, you guys have talked a lot about your Viper slides and your systems attached directly onto the Viper slides. No, would you be able to kind of break down exactly what went into the development of that and what how you're utilizing it? Uh, yeah, um, for the Viper slide itself. Um, We've tried many times with several types of um, string, as you can see here. Uh, We tried (laughs) fishing line, 30 pound fishing line, as well as others. And then we found this one, which uh, I think has a 102 pound tensile strength. Um, 
So that's the uh, string that goes around it. Um, for our arm, that how it's attached right here, uh, we have a 3D uh, print uh, for the uh, to 60 move. 60 to 1 motor? Yeah, 60 to 1 motor to move up and down. Um, which is very helpful because it's, it stays like this and uh, um, it allows us to move our arm upwards and then we can extend the viper slide um, which allows us to uh, hang during endgame which is very very crucial to our uh, strategy. Um, the main reason our autonomous works is the camera up here. The camera it allows us to see where the cone is and determining on where the cone is it places a pixel in the area. For our airplane launcher, we use this during endgame. We try to park back in the backdrop area and then we shoot our airplane. So, <laughs> uh, it's it's definitely a work in progress right now. Um, um, for the push in front, uh, that allows us to cycle two pixels at a time and uh, uh, very fastly. It has been Dylan and Noah with Team 9536. Slobberbots.